Yeah, hello and welcome everyone. Um, this is the uh, opening of the, um, like you could say, open event track. Uh, this afternoon we will have like a number of talks uh, all on um, our project, open event, uh, which is developed um, uh, at Force Asia. Force Asia is not just a, uh, an event, a Force Asia Summit, but we have actually also many meetups. We develop software. Um, and uh, yeah, we work on all kinds of educational projects, sometimes even do like uh, development cooperation projects um, and uh, yeah, also increasingly uh, companies are coming to us. So um, yeah, just as a background because not everyone uh, knows this. And uh, Open Event is a project um, which is um, around uh, yeah, two years old. The idea is there for a long time. I don't know. like. Uh, uh, who, who is here? Who is running events here in this room? Who's running events here? Okay, yeah, number of people. Um, you are more developers, sites, or what, what's your background? Yeah, developers, software development, yeah. Okay, so that's good. So, but I see a few people running events, and uh, uh, we always have the same issues, yeah. Just yesterday, I talked with somebody from uh, Mozilla, with Dietrich here, and um, I have been like at uh, Mozilla events as well with like 1,000 people. Every six months, the whole of Mozilla comes together somewhere in the world um, and they run uh, events. Because people uh, work in a distributed way, so they need to meet sometimes. And I was shocked to hear that they operate with the spreadsheets. They organize the whole event, you know. I don't know, like, like it's, it's like three or four days uh, and it's, it's, it's very intensive and, and they organize this with spread, spreadsheets. So um, this is something that we did as well. Um, because like uh, in a way spreadsheets work. Yeah? You, you can ha have them on your computer, you can have it uh, uh, um, on Google spreadsheet, give people access and they can then move things around. But you make a lot of errors. Like uh, it's, it's, uh, yesterday another person also told me that they uh, sometimes work with spreadsheet DevFest Asia here, yeah? Thomas Gorison. So, so they then also looked into solutions, tried to develop something. So, so it's, it's a nightmare. Yeah? And, and then you have a website, it's not updated and so on. So our idea was then, okay, we are not immediately able to develop a, a lot of different applications and so on. And uh, um, yeah, then I asked uh, other organizations that are running big events, please, we need an event management system that is open source that we can use. Um, for me, it's very important to have an event management system that um, uh, is for, for uh, organizers, for example, a scheduler where you can drag and drop uh, uh, and, and create a, a schedule for an event. Um, of course, it would also be nice to have ticketing because I prefer to pay uh, my uh, uh, like commission to a, an open source ticketing software rather than a closed source ticketing software. Um, so um, I was asking for that. So I thought maybe the Wikimedia Foundation could do that. They are running these big events, and I, I talked to a few people there, and everyone said, awesome ideas, but we are doing this and that, and this and that. So, so yeah, so there are already a number of institutions that could do that, but like in the end, it wasn't possible. So finally, out of pressure, we had this idea two years ago, and the first step was last year that we took the spreadsheet that we still had, but we run a scraper over the spreadsheet. And then we generated the first version um, of our uh, um, uh, schedule last year as a web app. Yeah. So um, actually, I can show you the website from last year, how it looked like 2016 for Asia. And then you click on schedule. And uh, so you have a basic schedule already, and it has already some features here. And you can see Twitter, GitHub, some links. Okay, and you have the different dates, and yeah, you can click and go to it. So that was already a big improvement here that we could like generate a schedule in open source. But uh, um, actually, that's not enough. So we 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 wanted the features that I just talked about, and uh, so in the end, I said, okay. I have all these projects that I'm doing, but I will focus on getting this going. And uh, very luckily, I uh, had uh, a student supporting me, and for Asia is also Google Summer of Code students, so we could use the, the Google Summer of Code contest to get a lot of developers on board. 
that's, uh, that's also a trick, right? I mean, like, you, you only have a certain number of students, for example, who can join with, Google, uh, with you on Google Summer of Code, but it, and also, like, if you announce through um, a contest like this, you can increase your outreach, and a lot of people see your project. So, uh, but like, then I, uh, we got these uh, great students on board. So, for example, here uh, are uh, three students. Uh, uh, like, okay, now you graduated, right? So, uh, Nira Jan, uh, who's sitting here, will give um, a talk later on as well. And then we have uh, Saptak, who is uh, also like, a, at the moment, uh, has a break at university. So, he's also working full time on this project right now. Um, and uh, Avia, Avia Ran. How to say it correctly? Oh, yeah, yeah. Avi right. The funny thing is, we work together over a year already, but uh, we never see each other, right? So it's a, it's a great opportunity for us to, to meet um, at the summit and finally, like, uh, because I don't know, Avi 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 Ryan or uh, how to speak. So it's great. Open source community brings people together, and we actually got a project uh, that is working. <laughs> I will go uh, in, in in some details with the. Um, which uh, parts we have with Open Event, um, and then we have more talks uh, this uh, uh, afternoon uh, about the uh, different components, uh, what technologies, and so on. But uh, so this is the this is the general setting. So what what do we have? Um, we have a basic website. So um, a basic website uh, uh, is uh, deployed here at the moment on Eventier. Um, okay, so as we see, some people are now trying out to set up events. They didn't upload a photo yet and so on. But uh, uh, we can see um, that uh, people are starting to use this. So uh, some people told me, okay, this event site looks very similar to Eventbrite yeah? um, or to even Event Nook, to different event sites. Because why we have to change everything and then black screen and green writing and yeah we are the techies we can just follow the the design so that's what we what we did uh, we, we we focused a lot on the um, on the back end implementing the features and just following designs of of what is there already before we now start to iterate and add uh, new features so uh, what is the what is the uh, app doing here it's a python um, app um, with uh, flask we implemented it and it's basically there to, to run an event. So you can uh, log in, you can create events, um, and uh, you can basically fill in name of events, open, let's say, huh? open event conf. You can add a location, science center, okay, science center would say Singapore, why not? Um, and you can add dates from when to when to run it, a description, um, select images, um, and so on. So uh, you can see there are already uh, d different options. You can add your Twitter uh, um, credentials, like let's say, slash, uh, okay, it needs to be a link, good. And uh, you can decide if you want to use the ticketing system or, um, or, uh, for example, an external ticketing system. You just want to use the scheduler. You want to. You don't know yet if everything will be working here. You decide. Uh, I, I want to use, for example, like uh, Event Nook to collect uh, tickets. Money you can just add a link here. HTTP Event Nook, and then your ticket. Okay. So, but like here, I decided to use, for example, uh, the ticketing system. I can say I want a free ticket. Um, or I want a pay ticket. Yeah. This. Okay. So how many do? Uh, how much do I charge? Um, it's uh, like let's say 13 Singapore dollars or something. And uh, so here uh, I can give an, 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 a discount code if I have like a marketing person from this website, a marketing person from this service. They can give me a discount code. Yeah. Okay. And then I can add uh, payment details where. I am. Okay, so you can see already, some of you see already uh, some improvements, for example, uh, why Singapore is not pre-chosen here. Yeah, like based on the location, the IP address, things like that could be done. Um, but what we achieved is 
we made this happen. We implemented PayPal. Yeah, you can now put in a PayPal address. Who has a PayPal address? You want your want to collect some <laughs> money? Yeah, I don't know. Put in your PayPal address. Yeah, Zeb Deckers at yeah gmail.com. <laughs> so and uh, yeah, so all of this is uh, is already good and working. Let's say I get rid of the business ticket so I can continue without filling too much in. And, and we have the requirements of communities. They want a code of conduct. I mean, it depends on where you are in the world. Uh, in the US, they usually want a code of conduct. In Europe, it's not so important always. So you can choose all these things. So that's uh, something that I need. Let's see if we can go forward, yes. And then what I need as an organizer is I need sponsors. So, but maybe I don't need sponsors. But I can implement sponsors here. I can just like fill in some information, uh, upload an image. I'm not going to do that now. And I put in a URL, and uh, then or I can say I don't need it. Yeah. So, and I can now. Ah, sorry. No. Ah, yeah. Okay. I, I jumped over a step. I didn't show you. So basically, when I then finish the event. Uh, or the, the first basic version I, I set it up, it, it, it will, I will come to a dashboard. But I want to show you the last step as well, which you can do with the system, is uh, you can um, set up uh, sessions and speakers. So that makes my life much, much easier. So I save at least two weeks with these features. So I can define tracks, different tracks, yeah, open hardware. And I can give them a color. You can choose that here. You have to see what makes sense. And, and I can say I have different uh, um, locations. Okay. And now I can say I have workshops, and people can apply for workshops as well. And the workshops is like, um, well, no, well, let me say 45 minutes. And I can also say go for speakers. Um, yeah, which I don't want to do, but um, call for speakers here is like, for example, we always have these VIPs. Yeah, I actually had a VIP who requested a talk this morning, Daniel. Yeah, so so uh, I don't want to open my, my uh, call for papers for everyone. I just want to give them a private link, sign up. So that's what I can do here. Copy a private link. Call for papers is long closed, but you can still submit call for papers. Use this link. It's just private link. So these are things that I really need. And then we have these uh, form builders. Uh, our form builder is still very basic. Uh, of course, the future is to have like a custom form builder. But here, for now, we have just like some uh, um, fields that you can switch on and off. So just like basic version. So we say save and proceed. Or I could like, say right away, make my event live. Live, can, I can also do it here from the dashboard. I can, I can say publish. Your event has been published. I view it. So it's a basic event. I didn't upload any photo or anything, but I can already sell tickets. Yeah. But here, the tickets are for free. And here we see the location. And already the, some content, which is here from the Twitter account. So I want to order something. So all this is straightforward. We have that now as an open source project. Yeah. And people can submit talks. Um, so. We go more into detail with it, but like I want want to point out uh, um, also what what we want. I an open source project is not just to have open source. I want to be free. I, I don't like the service anymore. I want to take my whole data and move it somewhere else. Or I say I have 20 events on this system. Actually, now I can hire my own developer or my own administrator. I want to set up the system on my own server. We have the export features here. Export whole events as a zip as a video. So you can even include video, of course, depends on if you have the resources. It's expensive to host large files. So you can inc include it and like, then, then start, and, and your event is going to be generated. This event is small, so I can now download it, and I have my event. Cool. Yeah. I can also export a uh, download event as Pentabuff, XML, or as iCalendar. So some other event solutions. This is all uh, uh, still a bit experimental. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so basically works. I can also say I have an API and I can switch on different things what I want to share through my API and only share my sessions or only my, my tracks. Yeah. So what, what's, what, what's an API? I want to show you this um, with 
Okay, so in the right tab, click down, open it. Okay, so here we see, for example, a small scaling issue, right? So people are interested to contribute, They're like small issues that you can start with. Um, but all works. So here we have FOSS Asia Summit, for example. I, I, I now say, oh, actually I changed something in the schedule now, and I want to export my changes. So I can just copy the API, and now I'm going to use our next project. Because I said we have different components. I gave you a few insights here to our first component, which is actually something like Eventbrite, yeah? plus organization of the schedule. Yeah, which I will show you later. But I want, now want to go to the second part that we have, um, our generators. So uh, you say you're an event organizer and you don't uh, want to depend on an external website. Actually, most event organizers have their own website. They set up a WordPress or Drupal or ask a designer to build a, uh, and, and a developer to, to, to build their website on some framework. And I don't want that. I have like still these old FOSSAGER websites from 2011, 2012, and they're running on Drupal, and I always get this security message, I have to update right away, and I'm on the plane, and uh, okay, I'm not traveling always, but it happened before, yeah? And uh, so I'm, I'm somewhere, I don't have time now, and really I don't want to take care of that, yeah? So I love these solutions like GitHub Pages put something on GitHub page and just deploy it and never take care of it again. Or like, okay, you want to change something, make a pull request, yeah? I mean, people always come to you and say, oh, this and this is wrong, yeah, and say, okay, yeah, here, here, go. So, so we can do that. So I want to have my event website on GitHub pages. So how do I do that? I do that like that. We have the second component, which is our very simple web app generator. And this web app generator that you see here is deployed live from our development branch on GitHub. Yeah. So, yeah, we don't want to host everything. We, we just make use of all the services. So you can also like upload a JSON, uh, a set of JSON files, or you can just say, I will give the link to our API. And then we generate now a live site of FOSS Asia. FOSS Asia is quite big, so it will, it will, it will take a minute or two. Um, and, and, and then I can show in a moment how to deploy this um, on GitHub, so we will update the Forsage website in a moment here live. Um, and uh, the next thing that we have is also a next thing here is the same thing for Android. So you can create your Android app for your own event and uh, generate it Waiting line generated. Okay, so this is a project. Okay, nothing impressive. I wanted to keep it very simple. Uh, uh, the guys always wanted to build like a nice website with colors and this and that. I said, no, let's focus on the feature. Let's really build a simple thing. Uh, you can always like uh, make like different designs. Like uh, people can take care of it. But I actually want to see it work that we can build an Android app uh, from our API or just by uploading a set of JSON files. Yeah, I want to see that work. So I don't want to start with building a beautiful website and, and then like we can get, even as a startup, like big money, like people who invest. Uh, I'm actually interested in something that works. Yeah? So we made um, this uh, simple thing. Um, you can do more with it. So um, to tell you where the projects are hosted, they are here hosted on our um, Post Asia organizations. We have a lot of different projects here. So um, for example, the... Uh, event uh, uh, August server is uh, um, featured here. We have the open event Android project and open event uh, web app project. So uh, we have a lot of contributors. Uh, of course, some people always contribute a lot, some just on and off. Um, and we have uh, thousands of commits. So it's really, I don't know, sometimes we have eight or 10 commits a day. Sometimes just three. But actually, did we have any day when we didn't have any uh, uh, pull requests? I, I can't remember. Uh, also, right? So, so it's really awesome. It seems like there's, there's a need for this project, yeah? Because this project is not a moonshot, yeah? Like, I'm also excited, let's go to Mars, yeah? But this, this project is something we needed, so we did it. 
Okay, so it's very easy for you to, uh, we have a lot of documentation because I, I always ask a lot of questions because I'm, I'm like, I come from, from, from actually another field. I wasn't a developer, so I like, I see there's a problem, so I go on Stack Overflow, uh, go somewhere and, and search for it. So uh, this project was treated in the same way, actually. These guys there, they are the experts, but they're not always the experts in usability. They just do it the way they, oh yeah, okay, but I'm the expert in usability, I, it doesn't work. Yeah, so we really like made this work as a, as a collaboration thing. And the, the fantastic thing is that it worked around the world. Yeah, I mean like we had, we had developers in, in like around the world and, and, and so we run this open source project and um, it's real fun. It sometimes was stressful, was it, over the summer? But now it's less stressful because these guys are now mentors. Yeah, and uh, they are even stricter than, than me in the past. But we did a lot of cool things. For example, you can deploy directly from GitHub. It's, it's, it's pretty easy to try out. You can go through the documentation. Uh, as you can see, we are hosting on standard services like Google Cloud or Amazon S3. Um, it's it's uh, all implemented. We're using SendGrid API for, 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 our, uh, for sending out emails. So, and uh, some people might come and say, oh, Google Cloud is not open source, or SendGrid is not open source, okay. I agree, yeah? Give me the open source service that I can use, because I don't want to implement emailing. I don't want to take care of emailing, and then people tell me, oh, your server is blacklisted because spam comes from it. And, and then I have to try to talk to, to the blacklist. I, I focus on the event here, yeah? So uh, that's the thing. Okay, so let's switch to see if this is finished. Yes, it's finished by now. Um, that we are back to the web app. So the web app, you can preview if everything here worked out. Ah, okay, this is how the web app looks like. Okay, so I can, now this is the index page, which we don't use for, um, for Asia, but that's, uh, it also builds you an index page. Basically here at the, at the Force Asia Summit, we're using the schedule and tracks page. Okay, so yeah, everything seems to be working. Cool, so I can now do one thing. Either I can deploy to GitHub directly, which you can see in videos online. I don't do that now here because I have some custom changes on the site. Or you can download. So I'm downloading um, the Force Asia Summit. You see, we've a lot changed the last two days. And I'm now downloading it, and it's great that the internet is working. So here on the video, kudos to Roland Turner and Daniel Blumen, who did an awesome job here at this Force Asia, the first like open source uh, free event here that has amazing internet. Okay, so where did I download that? I downloaded that here, Azure Summit, just extracted. And now I take everything here from this folder. I, I, I think you can follow, you ask the question if you can follow. So I download a zip, I extract the zip, I have the website now. It was generated from the API, from the JSON, set of JSON, both the same, right? API and JSON is just like a safe version. And now I copy that except for the index file, which I don't use here at FOSS Asia. I go and look where I have the FOSS Asia website here. Aha, uh -huh, 2000FOSSAsia.org. I just paste it in here. Merge, replace. It's now on here. I go to GitHub. Yeah. I'm already here. Okay, git at all in case. Uh, sorry, yes. It's good if you can write all git commit and schedule updated git push. Okay, so in a few minutes the changes will reflect on our website um, 2017 for You can see the schedule, everything will reflect. Some speakers asked for tiny changes, and uh, so that's how the web app looks like. And uh, yeah, we expanded it. So the focus of the web app was a lot on mobile. To have like different, uh, so you can like actually see everything by scrolling. But here I also have a feature request to have uh, 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 that, that people can have like for each session a separate page. I think that's not a big deal. It's just a small change, right, if, if people want that. But actually now people asking me, I want to actually link to my own session. How can I do that? How can I link to my own session? Okay, so they can do that here by share, and that's a really cool feature. You can like share it on Facebook, Twitter, or you can just share the link. And if I share the link, I can open it. I can just like go here, and I can 
goes directly to the session. Yeah. So we thought about a lot of detail, details, but of course there are more details. You will have ideas, and I invite you to um, open um, issues in our projects, Android projects, web app projects. And I invite you even more to commit uh, to, 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 make, uh, to propose uh, uh, pull, uh, pull requests, yeah? to make pull requests so we can, can merge changes. So that would be even uh, more fantastic. So web app, everything, everything is here. Um, I think uh, documentation, how to deploy the web app on Google Cloud or on AWS or Digital Ocean. Um, so we are really good with documentation, with the pictures and everything. So um, that should be very easy. Okay, so the Android app is also ready. I should have gotten an email already. Let me check. Ah, okay, I got an email, so you also get an email. Open event co conference has been exported. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, I can download it now directly from the. Yes, it works. Okay, I'm not, not going to do that now. So, so. To have a flow. So you see there are details, like you could have a better formulated email and so on. But the, the important thing was to get the flow right first. Okay, so I gave you an introduction to this, uh, to our project here. And uh, the last point I want to also direct you to is our, um, so you can find the different components if you also type in um, open event and, and more components might. Right. So, ah, okay, three years ago a guy started uh, Open Event iOS and it was really fast. So that one will be, will we have that too soon. Um, and we have uh, here the format. So the, for the idea is that uh, other event systems can implement the same format that we have. So we have a few examples here how our format uh, looks like. For example, here, just a set. Uh, JSON and some information um, in the format so um, to show you how you can build your own app. So what you could even do is you could like write down your event in this format if you don't want to use our uh, organization system and, and, and then you can just generate the, the open uh, event web app generator or the Android generator separately. So the idea would be, for example, in future Eventbrite says, uh, yes, we want to support this format then you could use here the, um, uh, the generator, Android generator or web app generator. Yeah? Okay, so uh, I want to now go into more detail and hand over to the next speaker. Um, but are there any questions at this point? Uh, uh, do you get an overview of, of what this project is about? Yes. I really, I'm really impressed by the, the work done, and the, I think it's something that I would love to start using on like the, the I'm, I'm organizing event all the time as well. Yeah. I, I like having a main underlying system from all the papers to the sponsors, to especially the scheduling part. But um, is there any plan to offer like paid features or support? Yes. So, um, so event yay. That's the idea with event yay. I'm, I'm showcasing that here on event yay. Um, which is uh, um, the, uh, like a hosted service. Not every uh, uh, event organizer wants to set up a, a whole complete service for themselves. So we have event here, we have deployed that already. Um, at the moment is a very early alpha stage, but we are running this event here with our system. So it basically works, but sometimes we have some, our own ways to circumvent some bugs, yes? But like it's, it's an amazing speed, this project, and uh, um, what we have implemented here, the question is always how to go into detail, but uh, what you see on, on your front end is really not everything. We have a whole administ administration side, so let's say um, you have uh, um, marketing staff or you have an uh, administrator who don't know about development, they could go here uh, and, and, and do all kinds of actions. For example, like we have features, uh, somebody says my account got hacked and somebody deleted my event. Typical thing. You can go as an administrator to events and you can find all deleted events and restore the event. This, this is a business feature, right? 
Um, and uh, uh, for that you need staff, and you need to pay staff. Everyone can set it up, right? So f people will be willing to pay you for, for this kind of service. And also what we have here is, um, uh, we have the ticketing module, and you can switch it on and off. And we have uh, the settings, so um, payment gateways, right? So you, you implement your payment gateway, uh, you, you add your payment gateways, and then you set your ticket fees. So you can change your ticket fees uh, like, um, um, on a different percentages in different countries because transaction costs, let's say, in Argentina, Argentine, or Brazil are very high, so, and they're lower in other countries. You can change them, yeah? And we have, like, uh, sales features, yeah? Oh, we seem to be having uh, some issues. Good. Niran John, can you fix that? <laughs> yeah? Okay, yeah? So, you see, it's like, uh, as I said, an other stage. So, sales means, like, you can have a marketing person going out and uh, uh, saying, okay, I, I, I sell this event, what do I get? And uh, I, like, an, uh, like somebody who runs the service, I don't want to work or I don't know how to work with a lot of marketing person, how to hire somebody uh, in Mexico. Or I don't know that. So what I want is I just want to give them a percentage. There's somebody who um, <coughs> sells an event in Mexico, and I can say, here's your code. I give you a certain code. And the, 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 um, the event organizers have to enter that code when they sign up. And you get 10% of the profit or something like that. So you can change that percentage. Yeah? So then this is an easy way to pay your marketers yeah? or your sales anywhere in the world. Yeah? And you can just transfer them the money. And actually for them it's also good. Because in some countries people ask, oh, are they honest or are they cheating me or what is there? Because they can log in the system and can see how, how are their sales. And then they can just calculate their own discount. So we have that, but like uh, we have a small problem in that area. But um, I could show you that then in detail if you want later. So, yeah, we have all the settings. So this is actually a lot of the intelligence here. Uh, we have the user management. Um, it's not just what you what you see here, and, and, the, and as as a user, as a normal user, yeah. But you need to set up this system yourself, yeah, if you want to try out these features. Okay, so yeah, this is one question. Um, one thing that I didn't show you so much in detail is the um, the, the scheduler, which is which is really nice, which saves a lot a lot of work, which is one of the basic basic uh, features here so so you can take a, a talk you can put it in somewhere you can move it around move it to another room okay not going to do that anymore because it's, it's going to be live so <laughs> people say where does this talk uh, come from right uh, yeah so these are things you can export your, your whole event as a PNG we're working on PDF export is better, yeah. So, so an organizer doesn't want to build their own. Like, uh, what we want is like we want to print out the whole thing, put it on the door. So we still had some issues with that, with the resolution the last few days, but we solved a lot of it already. So today you see the uh, um, on, on a lot of doors you see the schedule now, yeah. So we're improving, and uh, I think this event uh, brought us a lot of stress, but uh, now we really have something that works, yeah. I mean, we can run it, so that's pretty cool. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here because, as you can see, there's a lot, uh, a lot of details to it, and it's basically because we used all these uh, different event systems before. We we know them and we know what what was lacking. So we want to save time organizing the event and the ticketing feature. That's all pretty straightforward. But actually, organizing the event, drag and drop, it's, it looks like a simple thing. It saves me a lot of time. Yeah, and I just talked to the Mozilla guys to, uh, yesterday, and if, if they would use it, I mean, like, they are locking down the event with their 1,000 people six weeks before the event. Yeah, they, you can't change them anymore. But people, a lot happens in six weeks. Yeah, and I just changed the event five minutes ago. Right? So that's cool. So I think I, I took a bit over, but, like, I planned this uh, afternoon that we have, like, sometimes some, a few minutes uh, um, so we can all have enough time for the other sessions. Um, let's uh, uh, go to the next session, um, and I hand over to the moderator here. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Sebastian, for uh, oh. taking care of this track. Okay, thank you very much.